has not rained enough. And in that department, Darren Peck says there is no surprising news. Yeah, and the, it's not going to be a part of this forecast either. We're getting to that time of year now where timing out rainmakers isn't really going to be so much of our focus. What is is how different it feels today from yesterday for any of us who are in inland Alameda and inland Contra Costa County and up in the valleys of Sonoma County. The view out over Dublin and Livermore shows us a day that right now is about 12 degrees warmer than it was yesterday at this time. Quite the jump. If we look at the current temperatures, you can see a lot of places here have climbed back up into the mid 70s. If you're inland, a lot of those inland spots, you can see it's mid 60s if you're anywhere in the bay. But another way to, to really visualize how these numbers are so different, it's to switch from the currents map and instead color the map in to show you what the 24 hour change is. And now you can see where the differences were really felt. Obviously, inland Alameda and inland Contra Costa County, as I just mentioned. But if you take a look up into Marin County, you can see a big splotch of orange up there as well. And the numbers will show you just how far above yesterday's numbers we are right now. So this is all a result of the onshore flow weakening. And any of us who are living on the coast, if you're near the water in the city, the peninsula, in the immediate bay, the wind has been rough over the last few days. And that strong onshore flow, while it's been downright windy here, it's been enough to transport the cooler air far enough inland as well. And now that that turned off, it's been somewhat more enjoyable to be right near the water today. And it got noticeably warmer inland out over where Mount Diablo is. All right, so if we take the views in, that's from the top of the Salesforce Tower. This one from the top of the Mark Hopkins Hotel, perfectly clear skies out there. And that's the scene looking straight down 880. Great overview over the East Bay there through Alameda County. So the wind's not off completely, but it's a lot better than it was. If you watch the bright colors on here, you can see the onshore surge as we go into this afternoon and evening. So we're coming into the time of day now where that onshore wind gets the strongest, 5 o'clock through about 8 o'clock. You can see it right there through the city on the peninsula like a, you know, like a sore thumb and along the coast where the brighter red colors are. Meanwhile, you get inland and light blues tell you it's not all that windy. You know the drill. Things will calm down for tomorrow morning and through much of the day tomorrow. And then as we get into late in the afternoon on Sunday into Sunday night, onshore surge is going to turn back on again. That's a 27 mile an hour gust in the city, which is kind of like the front lines for where we feel this the most. Two things about that, by the way, you get windy and it's unpleasant in that regard. But this is also the time of year where we're putting the most pollen into the air which happens to coincide with the time of year when we get the steadiest onshore winds that can really pick up that pollen and just spread it around. We get hit in two ways this time of year. Obviously, the influx of pollen is the main problem, but it doesn't help that it coincides with the time of year when it starts getting windy on a regular basis thanks to that onshore flow. Overnight lows tomorrow, we're only going down to the 30s in one location. 39 in Santa Rosa. Everybody else stays in the mid-40s, thereabouts, for morning lows. And tomorrow's daytime highs should be very similar to today. So we'll keep the pattern pretty much right in line with uh, Saturday and Sunday. should pretty much be identical. And as you look across the seven-day forecast, we'll hold on to a lot of mid and upper 70s for inland spots. And we'll keep it in the upper 60s for the bay. And it'll stay cool, breezy, and cloudy, at least through the late morning and early afternoon, if you're near the coast, no rain.